Hi guys! Recently, a viewer asked how to do an animated GIF that fades. In this video, I will explain how I do it, using Photoshop Elements 7. The first thing you want to do is get some images together that are the same size. And I'm going to use three images just to keep it simple. So I have my three images, and you'll see them at the bottom in the bin and you open each one individually to edit them or whatever you need to do by clicking on them. I'm using 500 by 500 pixels. I have them already edited. The next thing you wanna do is create a new blank file and have the same dimensions. In this case, 500 by 500. And I've made three layers so that I can place the three images, one into each of the layers. And to do that, I will go to the first image and using the marquee tool, draw a box around it and control plus C to copy. I go to my new blank file, choose the first layer and control plus V to paste. I'll choose my second image and do the same thing and put it in the second layer. After you have your images in the layers, you need to duplicate each image a few times and probably more as you go, but we'll start out with about three each. I'm going to take my first image. I'm going to use the second copy down from the top. I want to have one copy that's at 100% opacity that's not faded at all and just leave it alone. Don't even touch it. I'm going to the second one because I'm going to change the opacity of it so that it can fade into the next image. And just to make it easier for me, I drag up one of the next images and put it underneath. Now make all of the rest of the images invisible by clicking on the eye icon. The only ones I want visible are the two that I'm going to work on. Now I'm going to take that top layer and change its opacity. Now what I need to do, since I like the way that looks, I want to make this into one image. So I'm going to right click and choose Merge Visible. This will make these two visible layers into one image. Now I need to go to the next copy of that first image and the next copy of that second image. This time I'm going to change it to about 50% opacity so you can see through it a little bit more and I'll merge those two layers. Now I'm gonna repeat the step. 
I'm going to fade that second image into the third image. Whichever layer's on top, I'm going to put it about 70% opacity. And then when I do it again, I'll change the opacity to 50%. And I think I'm going to do it one more time down to 20% this time. But I've got to make more copies because I've run out of copies. I'll have to do that probably a couple of times. I know it's going a little faster, but basically you're just repeating the same steps when you get to your second image. Always though, each image, you should at least have one image untouched at 100% opacity so that as everything fades through, you can see the full image if that's what you want. If you don't want it, you can fade them all, but if you want to see the image at full opacity and have it sort of stop on it, you need to have one at 100%. Now before you save this as a GIF, make sure all of your layers are visible. So toggle them all back on. And then go to File and choose Save As. Then in format, choose CompuServe GIF. Now don't forget, choose layers as frames. Click that box. Otherwise your GIF will not work. And click save. Your next screen will give you more options on what to do with the GIF. You can change these as you like, but just to keep it simple, I'm going to leave them alone. And be sure to click the animate box. If you don't, your GIF will not animate. You can choose whether to loop your animation and also choose how long each frame stays on. I think I'll choose 0.5 seconds. Okay, let's test it out. Go down to the bottom where the globe is there next to the preview in. I'm just going to click on that and it will choose a default browser for me to view the GIF in. My default browser is Google Chrome, so this is what it looks like. It's fading kind of quickly. There's other ways to change your frame rate. If you don't want it to be a slow fade, but you want to see your images on there longer, all you need to do is create more copies of the layers. Oh, also don't forget to save the GIF. Go back to the GIF editing screen, click OK to save. So I hope you find this tutorial useful and have fun making those fading animated GIFs. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Until next time, bye.